guys, so today we will be filming a video about the future. If you guys didn't already know, we are both seniors in high school right now and we are graduating next week. So we figured it was time to share with you guys what's going to happen in the future with JKBDO8 and stuff like that. So we came up with some questions that we're going to answer for you guys. So the first one is, what college will you be attending? I will be attending Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. And I mean, I guess if you guys are curious, we start school September, in September. And I will be attending California um, University of Berkeley. I just said that in the weirdest order. Let me start that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just following the sweater. <laughs> attending the University of California, Berkeley, Golden Bears, yes, and if you guys didn't know, it's in Northern California, and then hers is in like mid-California, yeah. and I start school at the end of August, which sucks, but whatever. She gets out earlier than I do. <laughs> I get out the day before your birthday, <laughs> so we'll be stopping by on the way back. <laughs> the next question is, what is your declared major? Okay, so, at the moment... <laughs> My major is food science. <laughs> she loves food. Yeah, okay. See, the story of that, I meant to put business, and food science is my alternative major, but somehow I switched it up, and I put food science as my preferred major. But, I mean, obviously it helped because it got me into the school, <laughs> because I don't think I would have gotten in if I put business as my major. But it's not like I was doing it because I was like, oh, this will help me get into the school. Like, mm -hmm. no, it was an honest mistake. But I'm going to take, well, I have to take, like, a semester or I think a quarter or something of food science classes before I can actually switch my major. So, I don't know, I'll see how I feel about it, and then if I like it, I'll stick with it. And then if I don't like it, I was thinking of switching to business, but I'm a little iffy. So at Berkeley, I'm in the College of Environmental Design, and my major is architecture. And I've been thinking about it for a while, and I kind of want to switch to environmental planning and design after taking, like, um, our Gov AP class has taught us everything about the environment and like global warming and stuff like that and that's really inspired us if you didn't already know <laughs> of, um, to like care for the environment and stuff like that so I'm most likely going to switch but we'll see. Okay, so next, what are you looking forward to the most about college? Um, I think just being in a new environment. I'm excited to meet new people and I don't know, just something different, mm -hmm. a different life. Yeah. I think it'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I'm just excited to, even though I'm going to miss all the people in high school, like I wish I could just take them with me to Berkeley, um, I, I'm i excited to like try out new places because Berkeley, if you didn't know, it's like a campus but it's surrounded by like a college town so there are tons of like different Thai places and like um, ice cream shops and stuff like that so I guess I'm excited for the food <laughs> and think... the people. I think I'm going to like San Luis Obispo because it's like, um, Stars Hollow. <laughs> it's really, it's cozy. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like about it. Yeah, and Berkeley is only 10 minutes away from San Francisco, so I love the city and I love the beach, which is right next to the ocean, so I'm happy about that. What are you looking forward to the least about college? Um, the work. Yeah. I'm not too excited about that. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not good with kind of checking myself and making sure like I read this or I do that so that'll be difficult. I'm really scared because Berkeley is such a smart school and me, my scores compared to theirs they're not the best so I'm kind of scared for how I'll rank at that level and then I'm also scared about being like six hours and 32 minutes away from home because like if I'm sick or if I miss somebody I can't just like walk down the street or drive like 20 minutes away, I have to like either catch a plane, a train, or like commute all the way down there. So yeah. that's what I'm not looking forward to. Our filming schedule, since we'll both be in different colleges, we're going to try to meet up I every know, other We month. haven't really like, I mean we've talked about it, but uh -huh. it's not like there's not an official like schedule, but <clears throat> I think we're going to try and meet like 
every other month or every couple yeah. months. And just film a ton of videos. Like, I'll go to Berkeley or she'll yeah. come to Cal Poly. Yeah. And we'll just film. Mm -hmm. And this summer, we're definitely going to film, like, a lot towards the end. So we have, like, a lot to prepare for. Because I know freshman year is really hectic and we might not have as much time to do that. And then summer plans. So right after... Our graduation, I'm going to go to Vegas for a couple weeks to visit my grandma and my other family members there. And then I'm going to come back and maybe oh. get a job. Road trip. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. We want to go on a road trip with all of our friends. Mm -hmm. With an yeah. RV and all that stuff. We're going to try yeah. to. At least. Hopefully. Yeah. The day after graduation, I am going on a road trip to Oregon, and then on our way back, we're going to stop by Berkeley and stuff like that to visit campus and go to orientation. And then when I get back, hopefully, I'll have, like, a job, and then just, like, go camping, that kind of stuff. I usually go to, like, Vietnam or China over the summer to visit my dad, but since he just moved to China, he's kind of, like, settling there, so we're just staying home this summer. I'm really sad that they're leaving because I'm staying in town and I'm not going to have any friends and I don't know what I'm going to do because <laughs> she's going to be 6 hours and 32 minutes away and I'll be close. I haven't calculated that. it yet, but I'm it's only around like three, two, two, and a, two and a half hours away. So I'll be coming home probably more often than Kelly will. Or I'll so. be driving, well, Nick will be driving up <laughs> to Cal Poly and... I don't we'll know, I like take a Poly, train so. from Cal Poly yeah. to Berkeley. Yeah, yeah, there's a train. I'm... Yeah, we're gonna do like this whole train thing. Stop by, go back. Yeah, like we're as gonna. Often as possible. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just really sad. All I know is that if you guys find another Mexican that's like me, who likes Gilmore <laughs> Girls and slurp, all the slurp, slurp slurps slurp, and Carey. Taylor. <gasps> oh, that. Would, mm. I'll be coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's gonna come stay in our dorms. It's gonna be so fun. Becca's very protective. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, did you see that bump? <laughs> it looks big. So, if you have any more questions about what is going to happen when we part ways, yeah, just leave your questions down below and we'll answer them. And yeah, we hope we'll be able to get as many videos up for you guys as we can mm -hmm. throughout the summer and throughout our first year at college. I definitely expect after college we will be living in the same cul-de-sac. Like, yeah, we already know we already know the street we're gonna live on mm -hmm. after college. And then <clears throat> when we'll be having our kids, like starting our makeup line, like okay. all that stuff. We'll be we'll be making videos forever. Yes. That's it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check us out on Instagram and Twitter at JKBD8. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.